Tearful TV presenter says she is ready to return to work six months after being given devastating diagnosis on the same day she learnt about her OBE. Presenter Anne Diamond has revealed her hell of a journey with breast cancer as she prepares to return to the television screen. The veteran broadcaster announced her cancer diagnosis for the first time in an interview with Dan Wooten, her colleague on GB News. Anne, 68, who has been absent from the station for six months, told Wooten she was now well enough to return to work with co-presenter Stephen Dixon for their weekend breakfast show, although she still needs further treatment. She said she was aware of speculation about her absence, including rumors that she was on a world cruise. It's been a hell of a journey, she added. I haven't been on a world cruise, it's been a fight against breast cancer. The presenter, who came to fame on BBC Breakfast Television in the early 1980s, appeared tearful as she admitted, I don't have any advice for people because I'm still going through it. I'm well enough to return to work but I had the full mastectomy. This is the first time I've talked about it so it's quite difficult. The first operation I had was nine hours long. It was nine hours of removal and rebuild, that took a long time to get over. I then had a lumpectomy just to make sure they can trace the travel if the cancer has spread at all. Luckily I don't think they did, track any. I've also had a lot of radiotherapy, which I found very hard. It has been a journey. I am not pretending for a minute I am extraordinary because I am fully aware that a quarter of women in this country are going through what I've just gone through and I don't have any advice to give, I just have empathy. Anne also revealed that she was diagnosed with cancer at what she had expected to be a routine screening on the same day she learned she had been awarded an OBE for her work on preventing cot deaths after the loss of her own four-month-old son Sebastian in 1991. She said, you know, you are sort of taught that if something good happens to you, something bad happens to you to slap you back. That morning, I got an email from the cabinet office saying, congratulations you are to be awarded OBE for my cot death campaign back in 1991. I had to go to a breast cancer screening later in the morning and I thought I would just go for a mammogram and a couple of tests and it'd be free in an hour. By lunchtime, however, the arrival of a lovely lady with a lanyard round her neck which said Macmillan Cancer Care heralded the devastating diagnosis.